Hey there, it's Brittany, and I'm back with day 12 of the 13 days of Halloween. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we're almost done. Today, I want to use this pendant. This is from Jesse James Speed. Sorry, I still have paint on my hands from yesterday's video. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm super excited. I've, like, since I started the uh, 13 days of Halloween, I knew I wanted to make a necklace with this, and I knew I wanted to use these tiny garnets. Um, and I had the uh, two strands of those, so I'm super excited about that because it wasn't long enough to make a necklace with. And then I found these little tiny larva kites in my stash. These might be from Sam, which I think they probably came with some garnets during one of the boxes. But um, I wanted a little flash. These are super flashy. I wanted more flash to go with them. I found a bale that I wanted to use instead of just using a jump ring to attach it. Um, and then a jump ring. I have some, these are like, these are gold-ish, um, gold-ish silver. I don't know if we're gonna work those in. Um, some little tiny like rose gothic, well, I guess these, yeah, these are little roses. I think they're supposed to be roses. But the little, now that I'm looking at them like up close, they don't look like roses, but I'm going with roses. And then, um, some more garnet. So uh, I, I don't know that eight stringing wire is gonna be the best idea for this because it's very, well, at least 19 strand. It's kind of thick. We do have seven strands somewhere. There we go. So I might use the seven strand. I just wanna see if, if uh, 19 strand will even work. I kinda want it to be a little bit more slinky than that. Like, see how this is? Like the drape is nice. I don't want to use like Eslon because it's just going to be a pain. Because um, the holes of these are too tiny for me to thread. All right, I'm just going to test to even see if this will go through the hole. Oh yeah, it will. Um, and 19 strand is a lot stronger than seven. But this seven strand is pretty good. And the necklace is really super light. Oh, we'll stick with that strand. I, I, don't, I don't mind. All right, so I am just going to kind of try and figure out if I can get a pattern going. Okay, so we are going to be using both sizes of these. I didn't think I was going to like, I wanted a little bit more dainty, but I do like the six, are these six or five millimeter? Five millimeter. With, that actually looks really good. Okay, so. Open up my, I think this is Labradorite. I, I don't know if I said Larvacite, but it, I think it is Labradorite. I know Larvacite and Labradorite are essentially the same ones, just darker, but. I think these are actually Labradorite. All right. I don't think we're gonna use these just because they're they're off in the color. I do want to use these. They're not my typical favorite shape because I had some beads like that when I was really young and I didn't like them then <laughs> but I do like how they look here all right so Goldie if you can hear her is just sniffing around um So I'm going to do
Okay, so I don't love how bright that silver is, but it is this. I think I'm not going to put the silver in there. I think we're just going to do something like this. I have more garnet, but I don't think I have any garnet that's this color in like a larger faceted shape that I could put here. Like I would really love like a larger garnet right there. I'm going to go check. I didn't find any garnet that was any smaller than like this 10 millimeter and that's way too big for what I wanted, but I did find the smoky quartz and I'm not going to put too much on there so I don't mind the color. Um, I just want to string on a few more of these and then I'm going to attach my bale to my pendant. You know what? I, I don't I don't love it. I, I just don't like that color. So I'm not gonna. I, I'll, I'll once I once I start doing this side, I'm gonna take that off. I need to figure out what I want though because I just don't like that. I love the red. Maybe maybe just do like it could just make this a really simple necklace, and then I'll make something else that goes with it because I just really had a vision that I really just wanted the garnet, which was supposed to be this guy's. And this guy but I do end up I did end up liking the five millimeter ones a little bit better so I think let's see yeah I think I'm just gonna put um, some labs throughout a little bit and then um, then maybe I'll make something that coordinates. This necklace is strong and it, it's very toned down, but I love it. I don't know, I just wanted it to be kind of somber and um, because she's kind of somber, you know what I mean? Like a Victorian skeleton and I just wanted it to, to be a little bit more of a serious piece. Um, I'm just, I put two of the smaller granite, granites, uh, two of the smaller garnets on the back and then um, I have a couple jump rings. I'm just gonna put on a regular lobster clasp. Um, sorry, not a couple jump rings, a couple crimp beads. The issue is we're not going to be able to come back down through that garnet because the hole's too small, but um, I'll just put on a bead cover so we don't see any awkwardness. I don't like how it looks when you cut off the wire right below the bead cover or the crimp bead. I think it looks terrible. So um, I'm going to take my crimping pliers. Move that down, and then actually, I don't even think I put this on the right side of the necklace. Oh, I did. Okay, all right, and then I'm just gonna put that in the the well there and crimp. Turn it 90 degrees and crimp again, and do it one more time. All right, I'm gonna cut off that extra piece. very careful not to cut off the rest of my real wire that we want to keep on the necklace and I'm gonna move everything down but not in a straight line we know that I'm sure you're sick of hearing me say that by now 600 and something videos in right <laughs> um, and then find my other crimp bead my jump ring You 
And yes, it is difficult to work with my nails this long. I'm just absent-minded and then forget until I need to turn on the camera that I need to cut my nails. And one broke, so hopefully that'll annoy me enough to where I actually cut them. All right, so. Making sure no gaps in the rest of the necklace. May end up wanting to, to flat crimp here because it's kind of, it's a little frustrating with the wire in the way and that little bead may get smushed if you get it into your crimping pliers. It's garnet, so it's definitely stronger than some glass seed beads and things that I've crushed before, but you know, if you're worried, just flat crimp. There we go. Turn it. And there we go. I always open these up by sticking them on the end of my crimping pliers and opening up the crimping pliers it just gives me more room to work with. Just close that over that crimp bead to hide it. Oh. Sometimes these can be finicky. Just working with them. Just keep working with them. necklace. I just love it. And hello, I realized while I was um, stringing it, go Buckeyes. It's our <laughs> Ohio Buckeyes colors. Um, but I love her. I love how serious she is. Um, again, another necklace that I can wear outside of Halloween, but is definitely spooky. A little creepy, a little somber. Um, let me see. I don't know. Let's make something. I'm going to put this on. <laughs> Let's make something um, to go with it. Let's see. Anne Marie sent me these really cool tiara cast um, charms, and they're a little less cute than a lot of the stuff I've been using. So I think they fit the theme of this necklace. I couldn't really find anything skeleton related unless it was these, and I think they're a little too. They weren't what I was looking for. So um, I, I'm loving this ghost. I want to do something with the ghost, and possibly something with headstone. I just got an idea. Okay, so I got an idea and I had to run over to my um, bookcase. Uh, so I, these were used to all be the rage. I don't know if they still are, but um, they're the Annie, Annie and Alex style bracelets. And I'm thinking I want to make a charm bracelet, but also wire wrap my um, garnets around the back. So I have this 24 gauge art metal. It's softer and it's a thin um, gauge. So I think it'll be easy to get through the beads and around my bracelet. I'm gonna go ahead and string on a ton of these guys. All right, now that I've put a bajillion of these things on the wire, <laughs> I'm going to pick a spot and um, s secure this wire to the outer wire. Um, actually, Actually, I think I'm just going to go where we are here and secure it down. So it's just going to take a couple wire wraps. Really close together and move them over towards my end here. I'll cut that off in a little bit, but that's not going anywhere on this side. And then we'll have our um, garnets kind of holding it in place on the other side. So I'm going to slide down my beads. I'm going to cut off some wire. 
And, oh my gosh, I can't remember who told me in the comments, but somebody gave me a really helpful hint that you kind of push through with the, this end of the wire instead of bringing the end of the wire through, um, and it'll make it a little easier and less, um, oh, what was the word? Less crinkly, kinked up. All right, so we'll get going. And it's just gonna be a little rough with all of this wire at first, but then you'll get into a groove. And as I'm going, pushing those garnets around, oh, this is slippery, pushing those garnets around so that there's not a gap between them. <gasps> I knew that was gonna happen. I need to, some of the garnets fell off. I knew that was gonna happen. I should have been paying more attention. All right, I'm gonna do that so they can't get, th get the rest can't get off. See, like it's trying to gap there and want my garnets to not have a gap between them. And then we're just Bringing that around and around. See how pretty that is already? I'm probably gonna need a lot more wire and a lot more garnets. Thankfully I have a whole nother strand. See? I'm pushing with this end, not the loose end. And we're gonna keep going. I think this is more awkward than earrings typically are because I've done those and they're not this awkward, but it's because of this big So there's just a little bit we have tons left to do. Um, I might not go all the way around because this is very tedious and I don't know if I have enough um, uh, stones. So uh, let's see what I run out of first. Patience, stones, or bracelet. <laughs> Many unbearable hours later. I have to say this is one of my favorite bracelets ever. Even though I learned some things along the way, I did not have enough wire when I started, so I had to start again from the other side and meet in the middle. Trying to wire wrap like this in the middle and then put on a new strand was not pretty. Um, it, as you can see, there's a little bit of extra wire hanging out in here, but I'm not going to be able to see that. I mean, it is going to be on the top of my wrist, but I'm turning it towards the inside of the bracelet, um, so I'm not gonna be able to see that. I Would I make another bracelet like this again? Absolutely. It's not gonna be for a while though. I am a little mad I have one bead left over that I didn't see. I'm not gonna put it in right here. I might like hang it somewhere else. Um, really right now I'm just trying to hide this extra wire just to make sure it's not gonna unravel, and then um, I'm gonna put some charms on it. Just kinda going inside and then pushing together so you can't really see it. I'm gonna do one more. There we go. I'm gonna to pull towards the inside here and push together. And then I'm gonna snip, and then if it's sticking out, which it kinda of is, I'm just gonna take my needle, like my uh, pointy, I can't remember the name of this, Player. These are my crimp pliers, but they got a pointy nose. So there we go. You really can't see it. And it's so gorgeous. I wish I had um, a lot of uh, small beads like this. I'd never buy them because I never know what to do with them. And I'm not a bead waver. But Amazonite bracelet like this, carnelian, agate, onyx. Oh, I want them in every single color. And then, it, you know, changing the color of the band will change the feel of the bracelet too, like a copper or gold or antique brass. So... I definitely want to use my ghost. I think the ghosty is going to go right here. Like that. And then I want to use my RIP. I think I'm going to... Use some of these garnets. The the large ones. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. I'm going to open these up. And I have some ball head pins. I am not 
not going to wire wrap it onto there. I'm going to put it on a heavy jump ring um, just to give it more movement. I have way extra. I saw, I, I spilled some and I just found a bunch of these extra garnets. But I think a little tiny one on there would be super cute somewhere. I think I'm, that's all I'm doing. I don't think I need a bunch of charms hanging out the front there. I like the one gemstone, the one charm, and then these will hang right here. That is so pretty. I mean, even without the Halloween charms, just that one charm with the larger garnet and the smaller garnets. Oh, I can't wait to see all the different colors I can make in this bracelet. This is a good one, like if you're busy, like to, it's like an overtime project, or you can just sit down in front of your, t your favorite TV show and binge while you're doing the wire wrapping on this. Just like that is really cool, actually, but I, I really want the ghosty on here, so he's going on the side. Um, I will say it became infinitely easier once I turned the camera off. <laughs> it was just, It's just too much to maneuver around the camera. There's just too much going on, too much wire flopping around, too many beads hanging out. Um, it was struggle bus before, and then right after I turned it off, it went smoothly. Well, what turned out to be a simple video took a bajillion years to make, but I could not be happier. I keep saying this, like, my new favorite piece, my new favorite piece, but this one is, like, so understated, and I could wear this. Like, I could just change out the charms or just take off the Halloween charms throughout the year and wear it as a bangle. I'm going to put it on so you can see what it looks like. So here we go. Let's see. I might all have ghosty around. I love it and then it'll hang like this so it just looks like a little garnet bracelet all right let me know what was your favorite we had this oh and I'm wearing the necklace I forgot I've been wearing the necklace this whole time all right let me know what your favorite part was and um, if you're gonna try a bracelet like this let me know I hope you have a fantastic and spooky day and I'll see you on the last day of Halloween tomorrow which is actually Halloween have a good one stay tuned for Goldie bye-bye